Let's see who the winner is. Whoever's name is picked out of this bowl is going to receive a tarot reading. And this month, it's Anya. Congratulations, Anya. And uh, your video, your reading is going to be at the end of this video. And everybody else who wants to join the monthly lottery reading, which is going to be held next month, at the end of the month, uh, please join the lottery on my website. Follow the link in the description below. Alright, so first things first, we're going to do the reading for the week for all of us, everyone watching, including myself. This is the forecast for what we can expect to happen. I'm giving my tarot cards a little bit of a shuffle. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the gypsy cards to find the main theme. So what's going to be the central question? Our focus of interest. Okay. And here we have a card which I believe we already had months ago. This one is called Szeremesnő in Hungarian, and uh, the English translation is Sweetheart, which is kind of um, kind of weird. I don't like a lot of the translations in this deck. I think a more accurate version of it would be Woman in Love. And so we have some other translations here, which I'm going to read to you now. Geliebte, Vien, Aime, Jubavnika, Amante. So, your focus is either yourself, if you are the person who's in love, or the idea of being in love. So let's investigate that with the help of the tarot. We're using the Osho Zen tarot for this reading today. Okay, so what is the broader message here? And we have the creator. This is the king of wands in the traditional tarot system. And the first thing that comes through is the fact that love is not experienced, it's not received, it's created, it's a process, it's work, it's intention and energy that goes through you that you can build up and you can destroy depending on how you treat it, how you deal with it. So if you are a woman in love, please be aware of your responsibility in, in maintaining this love, how you cultivate it, how you handle it, whether you handle it with care, whether you invest into it, is going to make a huge difference to what you actually experience. I think romantic movies and these um, stories, these animated cartoons, especially Disney cartoons from our 
our childhoods. They convey this fake, unrealistic idea of what love is. Love is not an event. It's not something that you find or something that happens to you. It is generated and it needs to be continually taken care of like a garden. And when you are aware of that position of the creator and how you uphold this position, then love flourishes. And it becomes something that both parties can be proud of. So own your responsibility in this and enjoy it. Good luck. And if you'd like to stay and watch Anya's reading, you're welcome to do so. If you'd like to receive your own reading, your own personal tarot reading, then please visit my website. You can find everything, all the information on there. But if anything is unclear, you can reach me by email, which you can also find in the description below. So, Anya, welcome to your reading. Let's see what the cards are bringing up at this point in time. Let's actually start by asking a question. So I'm going to pull a card which is going to ask a question that the tarot uh, would like to propose to you. So let's start with that. Okay. So this is number five of clouds, which in the regular tarot system would be swords. And this card is called comparison in this deck. So you see like a regular tree, a tree trunk next to this bamboo and the idea almost immediately I think is clear to all of us there's a comparison made between two entities two things that are I guess you could argue, argue that they are somewhat similar but what is the point of comparison so here's the question what is the point of you comparing two things in your mind that are so vastly different? Each entity, each being, each person in each situation in its own right is completely unique. That's not to say that there's no point or no utility to be found in the act of comparison, discernment, noticing how two things are different can bring interesting conclusions and can be valuable. But the question here is, and I would like you to think how this relates to your life. What are some things, two things, that you have recently compared? Whether that be yourself versus another person, or two uh, unrelated situations. The question is, what is the utility of comparing these two? So if you would like, you can spend a little bit of time with this, with the 
this idea. Now, we're going to ask the tarot what the best way to move forward is. So what is the best answer here? And here's the master card. The master, which in the Osho Zen Tarot, unsurprisingly, is Osho himself. A very controversial figure. A lot of people don't like this deck for this reason, because it has this um, extra card. But let's try and think symbolically. Let's try and see what this card can show you at this moment. The master, as I said, is an extra card between the last and the first card of the major arcana. So it's an intermediary um, between the beginning and the end, or the end and the beginning. And he's a uh, I think uh, this card represents those beings that walk amongst us, that have a special power. And every now and then, we encounter them, we have conversations with them. They look just like regular people. There's no distinction in how they present themselves as to how a regular person would. They are really good at hiding themselves. But they have an interdimensional perspective and knowledge that transcends the limitations of rational thinking. And I guess we could say that these people are masters. One possible interpretation of who they are is that they are masters, but they can also just be normal, regular people at the same time. They could be a random person that you have a conversation with, Someone that you see every day, but you never really pay attention to them. And one day, they start a conversation with you. And they say some really surprising things that sound like messages. So these agents, they exist. And whether they exist as independent objectively identifiable autonomous entities or whether they are simply interpretations made up of the synchronicities that our consciousness creates that's a question that is not really worth asking the real question is what is being communicated to you when you meet such a person and how come there's no difference or it's not important or interesting to try and differentiate them from the everyday person why this hiding and this uh, mingling in mediocrity. How come the true masters never strive to stand out? So, this is the message that the tarot wanted to impart in this moment. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Anya, for your support, for watching.
thank you to everybody else for uh, supporting my channel in any way, shape, or form. See you next week.